January 5th, 1974. Tomorrow morning, or earlier if you want to break up the party, you should set your clocks ahead one hour, as most of the mainland United States goes on daylight savings time until October 1975. The action is designed to help save energy. We are now approaching the beginning of the daylight savings time schedule. The 1080, you're listening to WTIC in Hartford, Connecticut. Correct. Eastern Daylight Savings Time is now 3 a.m. NBC News on the hour. I'm Andy McMillan. For the first time since World War II, Americans have begun a year-round experiment in energy conservation by setting their clocks ahead an hour. If you've been staying up just to watch the hour vanish, this is the time in the East. And unless the Congress changes its mind, we won't get back that missing hour of sleep till 1975. Lowell Thomas brings the news. From Stockholm, from Miami, from Washington comes today's news. As reported by America's foremost newscaster, Lowell Thomas. Good evening, everybody. Millions and millions of Americans, young and old, going to school and going to work today in the dark. The nation, as you of course know, returning to wintertime daylight savings time for the first time since World War II. Meanwhile, on the energy front, an attempt to prevent the hoarding of fuel supplies, the Federal Energy Office sending identical telegrams to 32 major trucking companies demanding a full accounting of present inventories of diesel fuel and gasoline. It was disclosed that a similar check had already begun in the railroad industry. The Energy Office saying it urgently needs the information to fairly administer the mandatory fuel allocation program. An invasion of Japanese skiers reported today from Mount Alyeska near Portage Glacier and Anchorage in Alaska. The Japanese arriving in chartered planes about a thousand a week, preferring the practically guaranteed snow conditions in Alaska to taking potluck on their own crowded slopes. Chris Waninwa from Mount Alyeska saying, they are the most fun-loving, hospitable people that we accommodate. Listen again tomorrow evening for Lowell Thomas and the News.